I think it's time for Siri to give me a random number. Give me a random number between, wait, you're too quiet. Give me a random number between one and seven. It's one. Oh, Siri is so quiet, it said one. Guy D board. Okay. Um, what do I play? Let's play the polar bear opening. I don't even know what the polar bear opening is. But I saw some Wikipedia posts like a year or two ago. I'm going to try and remember what I saw. It's something like this. Where like eventually white plays e4. And assuming black doesn't challenge my setup, I should be able to play the polar bear. I'm not sure why they call it the polar bear. <laughs> Maybe because it's almost extinct. No one plays this. What is preferred opening is white, black. You prefer Petrov defense. Um, well, I guess this is a, an opening you can add to your arsenal. Does a polar bear include a4? Maybe it does. My preferred opening is white is usually London, unless I feel like playing something else. Um, how did I do in my tournaments? The first tournament wasn't so great. I scored five out of nine. And then this tournament is going better. I have four draws and one win. Fan from Kazakhstan. Nice. Let's play A4. I don't really have too many ambitions about getting the GM title. I think a lot of people don't fully understand. Uh, there's a pretty big gap between IM and GM. And to get the GM title, it would take at least a couple of years of full devotion. And it's just not, uh, not something I'm going to heavily pursue. This chess is stressful, especially playing these long events. Okay, so I think I've successfully executed the polar bear, which would normally get me arrested for poaching. But here, it's, uh, it's okay. And I guess I want to play queen e1. It might be difficult to play e4, because this bishop is annoying. So maybe I'll play like h3, g4, and then just attack on the king side. Can I play the English? Yeah, I'll take opening recommendations. So there is a book on the polar bear. Interesting. Have to do some Googling. I mean, getting the GM title, it would be it would be good for like brand and credibility, but there's other ways to develop my brand. I mean, it would also be good for just proving to myself that I can play high level chess. So we'll see. What do I do outside of chess? I take photos of chess players. <laughs> no, probably like outside of chess, biggest passion is photography. Which I'm trying to do more of. 
I'll be posting more to Instagram. People can follow me if you want to see pictures. My Instagram feed is like a lot of chess players, at least a few weeks ago, and then just animals. E5. Well, black one connect four. Hmm. What is going on here? I want to play knight g5, threatening e6. Ooh, this looks nice. Knight g5, threatening knight e6, and threatening bishop takes d5. Also preparing queen h4. Yeah, I can live with this. You have a cannon 7d. Nice. I shot with a cannon 7d back in my early days of college when I could rent out equipment. That was one of the cameras I rented out. Good camera. I recently switched from Canon to Sony because Sony has silent shooting. Okay, I'm playing knight e3 because I want to attack d5, which he, okay, obstructs the bishop. So if I take, hmm. C4 could be interesting. Let's play C4. Like black has an impressive kind of pawn formation. So the way to try and destabilize the pawn formation is to attack like D5 and F5. I'm trying my best. GM Ben Feingold, favorite chess YouTuber. He's one of my favorite YouTubers too. Like back before I had a YouTube channel, I would just binge Ben Feingold videos. So great. Shout out to Karen. Big fan. Thanks, Karen. Okay, so now I have an outpost. on d5. Black has so much space, but somehow I'm working around the pawn formation. Like, look at this pawn formation. This is so weird. I just have knights in his territory despite his pawns. This is probably thumbnail worthy. I'll call this video like executing the polar bear. Wait, no, that's too violent. Playing the polar bear. Not sure, like, who's better here. There is one move I'm really scared that black might play. So I guess I just have to pray that he doesn't play it. But even if he does play it, I don't think it's too bad. Things are going to get weird. <laughs> and black's probably going to flag. Yeah, h6 I was kind of scared of. Because this knight has nowhere to go. Like, okay, I could play knight e6, queen takes e6, and then knight c7. Ooh, and win the bishop. But then that knight is kind of getting stuck. I would much rather sacrifice and keep initiative. So I could play... I don't know what to play. I could take the pawn. If I take the pawn, takes, and then e5. If queen e6, knight c7, hitting the queen and hitting the knight. So takes, takes, e5. If black sacks back, I'll win g5 in the end. Hmm. 
This looks very unsound. I could take on f5. Take on f5, take here. Chess is so complicated. Yeah, my position is just bad, but the complications should be enough for black to go wrong. Yeah, let's play e5. Such weird pawn structure. Well, now my bishop is happy. He sacks, okay. So g5 is hanging, but c4 is hanging. So what is going on? I could play b3. Bishop g3 comes. So I'm calculating bishop takes g5, bishop takes c4, and then just knight f4. I think is reasonable. Unleashing my bishop. And now I'll have some attack. Like I have pieces around this area of the board. E2 is attacked. Hmm. Also, g4 is kind of attacked. So let's play this. If takes and takes. I may have just blundered, but hopefully he flags. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I blundered. Ugh. But weird things are happening. What is going on? Takes, takes, takes. I'm just down a pawn in the end. He's so close to flagging. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Check. Let's throw in a check. Make him think. And then throw in another check. Wait, I think I'm winning this because I'm saving my rook and I'm winning this rook. He should have played king h8. Ah, but is he promoting? Probably not. That was a weird finish. I think I was losing until the very end. Chess by J. Nice painting. The other stream, I, I streamed with like a deformed baby in the background. But it was a painting of a baby. People can watch the stream to realize what I'm talking about. This painting probably has some underlying meaning that I'm not aware of. Um, yeah, let's look at that game. Also, let's look at what exactly the polar bear opening is. Because I just went off my vague memory of Wikipedia. So polar bear opening, Wikipedia... Oh, I need to type in bear. Oh, is there no Wikipedia page? Polar bear opening chess. Huh. 
just going to go to Google Image Search. I really thought there was like some just setup. <laughs> Type in polar bear opening and just get pictures of polar bears. Ah, maybe it's with the like B2 Fianchetto. I don't know. This is probably a discussion for later. Let's just take a look at the ending. Um, or the middle game. Such a weird position. The computer will probably just say how badly we both played. So let's turn it off. And yeah, around here, like bishop f3 was a bad move, I think, because it allowed this forcing line. And then I was losing a pawn. I think bishop takes e2 is good. But bishop d5 was very tricky, because king g7, then black is losing. King h8, on the other hand, I don't have a way to effectively save my rook. And the problem in this position, if I attack the bishop, there's d3. If I take, then there's d2. Okay, maybe I can hold on for a draw, but I have no winning chances. And same thing with rook f2. Like if rook f2 just d3 takes here, and this is even worse because he's just promoting. So got a little bit fortunate, but that's life.